Now again, we're going to be um, using half square triangles. This time I'm going to make up my favourite block, which, or one of my favourites anyway, which is a pinwheel block. So we need two contrasting fabrics and you want two seven inch squares from each one. On the lighter of the one, just get that other ruler. We're going to mark, as we've done before, from corner to corner diagonally. Line that up. And we're going to be stitching a quarter of an inch either side of that mark. There we are, got those marked. And I'm going to put them right size to ooh, right size together. And I'm going to stitch either side of that line. When we're done, we can um, cut along there as we did before. Okay, so got my fabrics right side together and I'm going to chain pieces again. I'm going to stitch first on one side, quarter of an inch from the line that I've drawn. So what we've done here, cut the squares seven inches, um, but once we've cut them and pressed them, we will be trimming down to size. So that gives you a little bit of room for error. There we go, just take that one off and I can do the other side. So that line that we've drawn will be our cutting line. Separate those. I just need to now cut these in half. Using my long ruler as a guide, place them on the line. That's those. Repeat for this one. Put those out the way. Now I need to press these open. So now that that's stitched, there we go. make the square. We've pressed it open and now we're going to trim it to six and a half inches square. Yeah, so I have my Six and a half inch ruler. I'm going to trim that side. And across the top. It's only a little sliver that is coming off. Turn it and do the same this side. Remember using your line across the centre to line up on your diagonal C so that it will centre it. So, and to do that in all four blocks. And now it's a good idea to lay your blocks out so that 
you can get them in the right order. It is so easy to twist these um, and then you won't get your pinwheel look. So that is what we're aiming for. So again like we did for the, um, the other block we're going to join those two squares first then those two squares and then we'll join them all together. Each time we place them, make sure you've got them in the right order. And we're using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. So just line your pieces up. Size together. Separate them off. I'm just going to open them up, make sure we've got them in the right order. There we go. I'm just going to press those and then I'm going to stitch those together and again I'm going to stitch, um, press them so the seams fold one way and on the other way so that I can nest them up together. Okay, so I've pressed them and again I'm just making sure that I've got them in the right order. Fold the top down to bottom, match my seams up. Right, just make sure that that is nested and the ones underneath don't get folded up the wrong way. And there we have a pinwheel block. And all being well, we have a nice points in the middle. So what I'm going to do now is press that and this time I'm going to press these seams open. It's just so that when we do our um, put our um, blocks together and do our quilting it just makes that a bit easier. So there's the reverse of my block and it is well worth just taking your time to press those open neatly. Turn it over and there's a completed pinwheel block ready to add to our quilt.